Hey folks, this is uh, Mike here from Inkdependence, and I would like to do a little unboxing here. Uh, it is early in the morning and I'm not camera ready, so you did not see my face. However, the mail uh, truck just brought me this cool box. Post-it note added to uh, obscure my address. Look at these cool stamps, man. I've never seen these stamps before. I need to get some. Oh, I guess I can't. Over 2016. Anyway, these are rad. I was like, where are the stamps? They're here. Anyway, this is from uh, Well Appointed Desk. Oh, look, a nice little thank you stamp. It's a cute little box. Uh, Anna at Well Appointed Desk has uh, created these neat little booklets for us to do uh, color swatches in. And there we go. Come on. Slice, slice, slice. And she is thorough with the tape. In this corner? No, I didn't. Cool. Uh, so these are from Skylab Letter Letterpress and Honor Reiner of the uh, well appointed desk. Goodness, I just punched my camera. All right, there we go. So let's see what's going on in here. Uh, this is my first unboxing video. I've never done one of these before. Uh, her husband has this thing called Skylab Letterpress, and he does, as you might have guessed, letterpress. How cool are these? The blue edge, super rad. Bob Atkins, flight director. I really like that. That's cool. Well appointed desk. She has great cards because of him, I think. Uh, well, and her design, I'm sure. But look at that. Red on the edge, green dots. They're, uh, they're pressed in dots. You can feel them. Great. All right. There's that. Let's see what's going on in here. And one booklet. All right. This is what I was expecting and what I bought. Uh, I bought this from her. I wasn't going to ask for freebies because this is just, I might have, I was actually the first person to uh, buy these, so uh, I win first. Uh, this is the Coloring Ink Testing Book. Now, the thing that we've been using forever uh, in the like ink community is this thing, which is Moramun's uh, Nemesine Word Cards. These are pretty good. Um, the, the paper in them is uh, thick pretty sturdy, like it's darn near cardstock. One side is pretty smooth, the other side, as you can see, I believe, there we go, you can see there's like a ripple to it, there's a, a texture to it. Um, and so one side of these is good for doing ink swabs and the other is not particularly. Also it kind of bleeds a little bit and feathers, a little. Well, it doesn't bleed, but it does feather a little bit, especially if you use the rougher side. Um, so, I don't know, when these were discontinued, uh, Mormon no longer makes word cards, which is kind of a shame. Also, I stocked up on them because I didn't think there'd be anything like them again, and that's also kind of a shame because this is like them. Uh, oh, this is actually, I only got a new pack. I've got several. Not that drawer. Let's see. Here's a new pack. Let me just get the thickness as a comparison. And uh, about the same. She uses a beefier ring on hers. Uh, compared to the other, which is nice because this ring is actually a little bit too small. Uh, once you stop using them in their nice, compact, like, machine <laughs> machined form, uh, they do kind of spread out a lot, and you always want to add more to them as so they get all fat and jumbled. Uh, so the bigger ring, I'm going to like that, I think. Uh, Paper-wise, seems about, seems about the same. Pretty close, anyway. All right, let me put this aside. That is obsolete, probably. Printed by Skylab, oh, at Skylab Letterpress, designed by the well-appointed desk manufactured in KC Mo. Uh, these uh, nice little cardboard uh, uh, letterpress ends on them. Cool, cool, cool. I really love the name. I think Anna did an awesome job coming up with this name, or whoever came up with it. I'm going to give her credit until I know otherwise. Very nice, very, very nice. Good stiff cardboard, little protector paper. And the paper inside is... Quite nice. There's a little bit of texture on the back side. Well, I guess this is kind of the front side. I guess where the coloring thing is. A little bit of texture, but not much at all. Let's uh, take a couple of these out of the book and see how they work. So, there's that. Here's this. Uh, what should I use? To test it. Ah, Sweet Maroon. This is the brand new uh, ink from Franklin Christoph. Uh, you can find this at Franklin Christoph or maybe at papierplume.com. Uh, I think I don't think anybody else really sells Franklin Christoph stuff, and especially not this. So uh, there we go. Where's the pen that has that in it? Is it this one? It's this one. All right. So this is Franklin Christoph. Uh, 
sweet maroon. This paper is immediately very nice to write on. I like the way it felt. Sorry. Jiggling. I'm using my phone because I didn't feel like getting out all the equipment to use my other camera. Um, and uh, it's showing off the ink, I think, very well. No feathers that I can see. Looks good to me. Dry time is not terrible. Most of it's already dried. You can see a little bit of sheen even in there. That's kind of nice. All right, let's get my fancy swabbing rig, which is this sweet sword letter opener. Um, I don't like using Q-tips because I don't like dipping Q-tips in things. Uh, I know millions of people do it, uh, but I don't, I don't like it. I always feel like I'm going to introduce something to the bottle that I don't mean to, whereas with metal, uh, I feel like I can get it cleaner. Maybe that's an illusion, but whatever. Let me keep it. All right. Let's swatch this on here. Kind of rub it around. Yeah, there we go. All right. Let me just clean this off. Bang. Good as new. All righty. So this is uh, drying fairly quickly. <laughs> mostly dried. You can uh, see there is actually a little bit of a bow to the card. Uh, that'll happen with pretty much any paper when you put ink on it. That's kind of why those um, those other Mormon cards I was showing were all, you know, um, expanded because you are pouring a bunch of ink into an otherwise flat piece of paper. So not a shock uh, and not bad actually as far as that goes and I think that'll uh, that'll that'll even out as they get mushed together. I'm not worried about that at all. Uh, you can see a nice like uh, green sheen here. The paper is uh, pretty absorbent, but as you can see on the other side, even though I threw an entirely unreasonable amount of ink on it, uh, not even a skosh of bleed through or show through. So that's good. That's an excellent quality. You can totally use both sides of this card. Uh, both sides are definitely smooth enough for this. This was the rough side. I mean, it looks like it's got a little bit of texture, but it felt totally smooth under the nib. So that's good. Um, and uh, yeah, I really like this. I think these are going to be a great addition to the uh, ink swatching world. Uh, so, if you are at the Arkansas Pin Show this weekend, you should be able to get some of these there. Uh, I imagine Anna will be showing them, sending them, uh, oh, goodness, I need coffee. Uh, we'll be selling them at other pin shows and such, but also you can uh, get to her through the well-appointed desk or chair at the well-appointed desk. Uh, definitely check out the wellappointeddesk.com. Uh, she has a great blog, beautiful pictures, uh, well-written posts. Uh, you know, so she's great. This is good stuff. Check this out. Oh, this booklet is, uh, these are 10 bucks plus shipping. Uh, so that might vary depending on where you are. I don't really know how she's going to handle that exactly. But uh, the product cost is 10 bucks plus some shipping. I should have gotten more than one, but uh, hopefully these aren't going anywhere. And uh, I can get some more uh, later on. It's going to take me a little while to get through 100 anyway. Uh, not that I don't have 100 inks sitting on my desk, because it kind of do. Anyway, that's it. That's all. That's all. I'm Mike. This is Ink Dependence. This has been a checkout of the Color Ring book. Dude, good. Aiming. Love it. Love that. All right, that's it. Peace out. Uh, spay and new to your pets. Bye.